out there good afternoon to you it's a very happy new year from me to you i've missed every one of you a whole lot it's been quite a while i hope you started a new year on a very positive note now if you this is your first time uh, on the psychology standard tv please do well to click on the subscribe button and uh, subscribe to the channel so you can be if notified on all of our future videos is a new year no procrastination because that could lead to denial that could lead to you know delays now we're going to talk today about the attitude for a new year the new year has started and for so many of us you know it has started on not quite a good note because again we have COVID-19 with us and the stories of lockdown no lockdown kids go back to school don't go back to school and many of us are actually frustrated but I've come with some positive news and information for us that we should endeavor to maintain a positive attitude throughout this year and I see things working for us better if we have a good attitude this year now the way the year started and for me generally one thing we have to do this year is to make sure that our relationship with God is secure, that no matter what comes our way, we have a relationship with God. And for people who don't believe in God, I say, what do you stand to lose if probably you pass on from this life and you realize it was a fool? So you have nothing to lose, but you have everything to gain if you pass on and you realize that believing in God and having a good relationship with Him paid off after all. I've chosen because I know and I know for real that God is real. I've chosen to believe in him. I've chosen to ensure that my relationship with God is intact this year because I mean, with all the uncertainties around, what more could you need, you know, to be certain if you have a being like God, the supernatural being, the creator of the heavens and the earth, you are sure that he can keep you. Now, the next thing I want for us to do this year is to have an internal locus of control. Yeah, that's the next attitude we need to make it this year, to achieve our goals this year. I'm sure that lots of us have already started making our, or we have we had made our New Year resolutions. But for the most part, I know that by now many of us have discarded them because we couldn't follow through. Now, I want us to do something different this year. Instead of the New Year resolutions, have goals and begin to make plans and begin to work your plan towards achieving your goals and you will do so. But one thing you need for you to be able to achieve your goals this year is an internal locus of control. That means you take responsibility for your actions, for everything around you, take responsibility. Because when you believe that you can control things and all that happens to you is dependent on the things that you do, the decisions that you make, you're likely to have a better outcome. But if you believe that everything happening to you is from an external source and you have no control, you will do nothing and you're not likely to succeed this year. So have a, take responsibility for your actions, for your decisions, take care and take time to make the right decisions to follow the right courses of action and I see you succeeding this year now one other thing we're going to be needing this year for success is persistence now the way things are it's easy to give up but this year I'm going to enjoin every one of us not to give up I mean find a way whichever which way like they would say so if you start on a course towards your goal and you encounter an obstacle do not give up my dear look for another way just find a way Face that challenge, face that obstacle head on and you will get over it. Now for those of us who believe erroneously that we should run away from our challenges, you can never achieve anything if you run away from your challenges because you're going to spend the rest of your life running away. So when you encounter a challenge, you encounter an obstacle as you work your plans towards achieving your SMART goals, face that challenge head on and you are likely to overcome. And if you cannot, you know, overcome that challenge, look for another way. There's going to be some way this year. You know so do not give up find a way some way somehow now one thing that's going to be important for us to succeed this year is having good relationships now we have to learn to build relationships now there are some um beliefs faulty beliefs according to rational emotive behavioral therapy that's responsible for our unhappiness and for the anxiety that we feel and one of those beliefs is a belief that everybody around us or every significant other around us must love us that's erroneous it is impossible for everyone to love you and because you know that you also do not love everyone out there as when you encounter people 
who you need to succeed and they do not love you. Learn to cope with all that they throw at you because that is life. Nobody, everybody cannot love you and it's no catastrophe. It's no catastrophe if they do not love you. You don't love everybody. So encounter them, manage their behaviors, manage their attitude towards you. Your focus should be on the goal. Just keep your eyes on the goal. And by the time you've gotten what you want, you can walk away. That's another thing you'll be needing this year, focus. Everyone needs to be focused this year. There's a lot of distraction. I mean, in our era, the social media era, it seems to be really difficult to focus on our goals. And so many people are living a lie. So many people are living above their means just to impress people that do not even care about them. People who are not even paying attention to them. This year, I'm going to enjoin us to do less of that. Less of the trying to impress the crowd. Less of trying to be and do what every other person is doing. Your life is your own. And by the time you live all of your life trying to be like others to do like others you lose your uniqueness you lose yourself so this year let's do let's not seek to impress let's build let's keep building let's keep looking towards our goal and working towards them for instance all of the things are in vogue right now when you have a birthday you have to go and do an elaborate photo shoot you're pregnant you have to do a pregnancy photo shoot and sometimes go nude because you're pregnant or you know there's so many you have your kids to celebrate their birthday you can't have a little quiet party anymore even when you don't have the funds you have to even loan money sometimes to you to, to throw the party of your life so you can share the pictures on social media i bet you none of these things will count after a while and by the time you're paying your loans your debts no one will be there to share your debts with you so this year be focused stop living to impress you don't have to do what everyone out there is doing live your own life the way you want to live it live within your means you know and remember to save this year save don't spend all of your money impressing people no one really cares at the end of the day the likes that they give you on facebook does not mean they care about you you know and don't yearn for those likes and by so doing exhaust all of your income your resources ensure to save money this year ensure to save money to be focused and to live to impress yourself not any other person now this year because of the number of people we've lost and how we lost some of them i've come to realize that self-care is really really important this year take care of yourself take care of your health your mental health health uh, your physical health like they say let your food become your medicine so eat healthy uh, otherwise if you do not allow your food to become your medicine medicine will become your food and none of us want that and in the times it is even terrifying because you might not even have the opportunity for medicine to become your food so live healthy eat healthy exercise and a lot of rest you need to rest a lot of rest by the time you keep going up and down on the job 24 hours when the job is over when you go get over if you have happened to collapse one day on the job the job goes on without you i mean the next morning everyone on earth will wake up and get about the activities as if you never existed so this year take care of yourself take care of your mental health take care of your physical health and if you do those things you are very much on the way to success this year maintain a positive attitude remember that when you fail as long as you alive to try again you're good to go failure is not a person it's an event and you know when you fall down you wake as a matter of fact anyone who has never failed has never tried at anything and that's another erroneous beliefs that we as humans have according to rational emotive behavioral therapy the belief that things always have to go the way we want them to now that's not possible right you as long as you're not the author of the universe things can never go exactly how you want them to go and so when things do not go well when things go wrong what you need to do is to keep a positive attitude remember it is your attitude not your aptitude that determines your altitude and that's according to Zig Ziglar and also remember that a bad attitude is like a flat tire you can't go nowhere except you change it so this year try to maintain a positive attitude towards life you feel take it in good strides get up and try again Forgive people, do not hold grudges, ensure to build good relationships this year, and that's going to be in your benefits. Above all, learn to laugh at some difficult issues. Sometimes you can just laugh at the problems, but ensure that you're working towards a solution. It's been a nice time with us this year, and I'm looking forward to a very interesting interaction with us this year. Make sure you subscribe to the Psychologist NGTV, and please do not hesitate to hit the like button and also to leave a comment. I want to know what you think. I want to know what you want to hear us talk about this year. And I want to hear your
are your views about keeping a positive attitude in the new year? Now, it's so long for today, and until we meet again next week, do have yourself a fabulous new year, uh, a very pleasant day, and with all my heart, I love you a lot, baby. Bye.